Airplanes flying overhead again. Airplanes. Freaking me out. Good morning. This is Bill from out of Europe and Naples on another day filled with airplanes overhead. The sounds of clanging as stuff's getting unloaded across the street. Uh, we're mercifully low on construction noise this morning. It seems they're working on the other side of that building, uh, which uh, at least is a small silver lining on an otherwise always dark cloud next door. Anyway, rarely anymore do I get excited about the cars that come in. I mean, I know that's a little bit of a horrible statement, but it's true. I mean, you know, I grew up a car guy from the age I was, I don't know, four or five playing with, you know, matchboxes in a sandbox. Uh, I've just always loved cars, so much so that I got into the business and that's really, you know, where I wanted to be. But of course, many years later, after being in the car business, they sort of become like pieces of metal to a certain extent. You know, God help me if I ever, you know, work professionally with alcohol or women because I really won't have any loves left. Uh, but uh, every so often a car comes in that kind of gets my blood pumping and I get a little bit greedy about and this is one of those I'm very happy to say uh, this is a 2008 Ford Mustang bullet uh, the bullet of course refers to that 1968 movie with Steve McQueen uh, you know where a uh, I think he had a 68 uh, Mustang with a uh, 390 cubic inch engine uh, finished in dark high and green. He had some hitmen behind him uh, in Dodge uh, Chargers with uh, 440 Magnums in them, uh, or at least the, the one that was behind him. They had two Magnums and two Mustangs for the filming. And there was a 10-minute chase scene filmed at actual speeds through the streets of San Francisco, widely considered to be one of the most influential and realistic chase scenes uh, in movie history. In fact, the car won Oscars for yeah, different stuff, but uh, the chase scene is what car guys will remember that uh, movie for. Uh, the sound, the camera angles, uh, it was absolutely incredible. And Ford provided the Mustangs to them as part of a marketing opportunity. And uh, obviously they've gotten a lot of legs out of that because uh, here we are, you know, 40 years later and uh, we're still seeing bullet Mustangs coming out of Ford. Uh, the first one in the retro modern era was the uh, fourth generation Mustang, a 2001 version. And then and this one, the 2008 version, and uh, frankly, this one is a little bit better, I think because the fifth generation so uh, properly mimics that, uh, that earlier first-gen Mustang. Uh, anyway, what I like about this particular car is not really just the bullet part, although that's quite cool. Uh, what that gives you is, uh, you know, a severe lack of badging uh, everywhere, not even a pony on the front. You just get that honeycomb grill. Uh, but this thing has been so properly modified uh, for what I believe would be track use. And better than that, it appears that the guy who expensively modified it for track use really didn't bother taking it to the track very often because you just can't uh, do away with the, um, you know, the little cosmetic damages that come from running the thing on the track a lot. But anyway, we'll get into it in a minute. So you can see the dark Highland green exterior. It's an absolutely gorgeous color. Forgive me, I'm fighting mist again this morning. Just can't get away from it. Uh, but a beautiful retro color in this, you know, retro retro modern Mustang. Now you see it has these big 19 inch American muscle uh, wheels on it. Uh, th those are not just for show. Reason being, the guy put on a set of Celine brakes up front. I look these things up, they cost four grand. Uh, just on the shelf, never mind installed. That's a 15-inch rotor. Uh, they're vented, so you've got ram air for the brake rotors coming through these very nicely modified uh, grill there on the bottom and venting the back of the rotor. I mean, this is a badass braking system. Uh, it's also got upgraded brakes in the rear. Uh, I don't think Hawk makes a caliper, so I suspect that might just be a sticker. Actually, that is not a sticker. Okay, so Hawk is making a caliper, but I couldn't find it when I looked for it. Uh, and anyway, so it has incredible stopping power, even beyond what was already pretty good stopping power, uh, you know, that it came with factory. The bullets were a little bit hot rotted. Uh, it obviously is sitting a little bit lower. Uh, that gets into this very fancy... Uh, 
uh, what the hell is it, an H&R coilover suspension kit. I looked that one up. Uh, that's a little over three grand. It's got adjustable uh, dampening stainless lines and can uh, change the ride height uh, two and a half inches in the front, 1.8 in the back, and uh, gives it incredible poise on the racetrack. It also has the uh, Heimlink maneuver uh, all over the underneath, and uh, yeah, a little joke there. Uh, Heimlinks are kind of a spherical metal uh, setup that replaces rubber bushings, and frankly, only you know real heavy-duty track dog type guys are going to put that on their car because it does harsh in the ride but uh, what it does at the racetrack is magical. Uh, it also has stainless headers running through a Borla, uh, stainless exhaust all the way to the back and just everywhere you look on this thing it becomes pretty damn impressive. So uh, with that said let's start inside the trunk. There you see that one badge on the outside of the car, uh, Ford and Bullet. Doesn't say Mustang anywhere, doesn't say GT anywhere, uh, just Bullet. So I think Steve McQueen would like that. Uh, back here, all very much as it came. You can see it still has that original net. It's got the mat. Did I mention that this is a one-owner car with 12,000 miles? So uh, the guy who bought this thing, you know, took it delivery of it, uh, drove it home and immediately modified it for race use and then didn't really seem to modify it or uh, sorry, didn't seem to run it. So uh, anyway, very interesting ownership. I'd love to talk to that guy and figure out what he's all about. Uh, there you can see the original mats. He had an extra set of mats put down to keep things uh, uh, safe and everything lovely and nice back there. All right, let's have a look under the hood because that'll give us a few more uh, tidbits on it. You know, I was driving to work this morning. Here's a non sequitur for you. And I have to say that I've noticed something about Hyundai drivers. Uh, that on the highway, they're either doing, you know, three-figure speeds uh, on their way, obviously, they're surgeons on their way to uh, do emergency brain surgery, or they're doing 10 miles under the speed limit. And I'm not sure what that says about the different types of people who drive Hyundais, but apparently there's only two because there's none of them uh, doing just proper average speeds. They're either way over or way under. Look at that, now we've got helicopters. It's kind of a Magnum PI island hopper scheme. And the left's echoing off the building, that's a new thing. Okay, so here you can see a 4.6 liter all aluminum uh, V8, three valves per cylinder, VVT, uh, all very cool stuff. Uh, you know, they Ford had already sort of hot rodded this thing for the uh, for the bullets, and uh, this guy obviously went a little bit beyond. Now I haven't taken it so far as to figure out if he put cams in it, but I suspect that it might have a uh, slightly more radical than stock uh, set of cams in there. Uh, not sure, but uh, yeah, I think it might. Uh, anyway, you can see this is a factory brace. It's got the uh, bullet plaque on it. Uh, this is number 779 out of a total of 7,700 made. Uh, so a pretty rare bird and nice to see a low serial number there. Uh, it's got this Ford Racing intake. I do believe that came with the bullets. Not sure that the Ford Racing throttle body did, but uh, maybe. And uh, does, of course, have this Ford Racing um, uh, cold air intake. Actually, it might be the cold air intake that came with it, and the uh, uh, intake manifold itself could be an upgrade. Uh, you can see it also has the Bama Performance. Uh, that's a very sort of advanced uh, electronic tuning that these modern muscle guys are using to get the most out of their cars, and uh, we'll get to that when we're inside. Uh, here you can see the adjusters for the... Um, uh, those uh, H&R coilovers, very, very cool stuff. Uh, you know, you twist this little aluminum guy to change the uh, dampening settings, and it's got many different settings uh, to tune it exactly how you want it on the track. Uh, but anyway, on this 12,000 mile, uh, you know, very well-kept Mustang, everything's nice and mint under there. Uh, doesn't again it, does this engine give you the impression this thing's been beat to death uh, to me it doesn't pretty pretty cool stuff All right, so let's get inside Yeah, and I mean like look at the leading edge on this thing you know, I know track dogs. You go look at my Miata, and I mean, the thing's almost totaled from clag and rock chips from running around Sebring. I mean, this doesn't have a hint of it in the front anywhere. I mean, look at the size of those brakes. 
absolutely incredible. I'm going to do a quick uh, hold the camera down so you can see how these modifications go. You can see sway bars and all the different uh, suspension upgrades, that big Borla exhaust. Yeah, I mean, this guy went nuts. Uh, I also like the uh, bullet um, gas door setup it's got. Okay, so according to the Carfax, again, the one owner Carfax, uh, this thing lived in New York. And basically the Carfax is a string of failed emissions inspections. So uh, here is a little warning to our, uh, you know, purchasers, buyers in the Northeast Corridor. Uh, be a little careful. First of all, if you're in Massachusetts, don't even try. Don't even try. Everything's illegal in Massachusetts. I mean, you're just not going to get it through. Uh, New York, obviously, it lived there, so you got a shot. Uh, California, I'd say forget about it. Uh, you know, this uh, this is a car that definitely is not going to please the emissions inspectors. They're just going to hate it as it pulls up before they even look at it. Uh, anyway, you can see the beautiful black leather that came with the bullet. Lovely mint. This has never been touched up. Leather medic to anything. That's just as it came. Uh, this guy did a rear seat delete. Uh, you can see he's got a harness bar in there, sands the harnesses, and uh, just some nice black panels covering up where the rear seats used to be. A very sporty, racy look. Now, I did look on eBay. If you want to put rear seats back in it, uh, there's tons of black leather seats for these Mustangs on there, so you'd be able to grab them. Uh, but otherwise, if uh, you don't care, I mean, look at this. It's perfectly set up to not have children with you, and that is a fantastic thing. But uh, anyway, if you want to reverse engineer it, that's not a problem. Pop in. Look at just nice, you know, very minimalist door panel. Uh, the bullets added this sort of fish scale uh, aluminum treatment. All very cool stuff. Uh, you get this great cue ball shifter. Uh, Hearst with the little chrome thing. Nice and retro. Uh, still got a pretty good sound system, that Shaker 500. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get my seatbelt on and see what we got. All right, so I'm going to crank it to life. You can see this bullet badge facing you right on the airbag. That's kind of neat. Let me open the door so you can hear this uh, boiling exhaust. And that is a, a very nice uh, sounding uh, set of pipes on this car. Oh, God. Music to my ears. This thing must have been a blast to run around the track. 79 miles to empty. Yeah, I believe that. Let's see if we can find the uh, odometer on here so you can see it. I can't. I'm not going to look. All right, so in here. Oh, God. Oh, God. In the glove box, you have a nice set of books. Very proper. And uh, that's the... Uh, where the hell did I put that thing? I thought I put it in there. Oh, yeah, in the uh, center console. So here is this uh, Bama tuning uh, little computer. So what I can do is uh, plug this into the OBD2 down here. I can find it. Dropping it. Nice. You can see these videos are all very professional by the way that I'm bumbling and stumbling with this stuff. And let's have a look at what we got. Okay, so you can program the vehicle with this thing. It goes through a variety of different tunes. You can uh, plug this computer into your desktop at home and download or create, uh, you know, any tune you want for this car. You can make it a little uh, timid bit of nothing or you can go full race. Uh, we've been retro engineering it a little bit, so we're going to program vehicle. Uh, it warns you about street use and racing. Turn key on. This might take some time. You see that little bit of cam shake we got going? I swear it has cams. So anyway, here's a couple of tunes that are in here. Is the 93 Perf and then Race. So I think we've got it on the first one because uh, it feels a little bit more mild while still being uh, fun enough to amuse yourself. So, But anyway, if you wanted to change your tune, you could go through here, put in Race, and it's going to load it into the ECU. <clears throat> you can also have 20 tunes in here. Uh, so for a variety of different... Uh, performance setups or for street driving. Maybe if you're a clever guy, uh, you can use that thing to fool the emissions inspectors in California or Boston. Who knows? 
no guarantees. Oh God, the sound of this thing. Uh, also very much has a performance clutch in it. I can tell that from the way it feels. Okay, so I had to get the camera off and readjust myself to get going. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that trying to run this car, shifting left-handed, uh, you know, holding a video camera, uh, there's just no way I'm going to be able to beat the living hell out of it. You know, I'd get someone to drive with me and do it, but that would just reek too much of professionalism, and I can't have that. So just go for a spin. Now, the Mustang, you know, it's a lovely driving car, this thing. Uh, goes down the road nice and smooth, good steering. Uh, you know, with all these mods, it still manages to be a pretty nice driver. And miraculously, the ride is not insane. Oh, God, listen to that. I mean, absolute music coming out of that Borla exhaust. That short throw Hurst. Uh, it is a fun, fun car to drive. Something like this could really make your commute to work uh, an absolute joy. God, there was my opportunity and I missed it because I was rambling. So all the menacing sounds coming out of that big V8, the uh, lovely deep breathing, the heavy growl. I mean, there's just nothing like an American sports car. give it a little tap so you get a feel for it but again I'm just not getting in any trouble this morning <laughs> feel all the suspension stuff man is that nice I mean instant power and torque exactly what a an American V8 is supposed to give you uh, you sort of want to drive around in a gear that's a little bit too low so you can hear that thing uh, just sounds awesome. Oh my god. To be unleashed at Sebring in this car would be a blast. So there it is. 2008 Ford Mustang Bullet. I mean, this is a very collectible limited production car. Uh, it was 35 grand new, and then this guy just went out and immediately spent at least another 20 grand on it. And, uh, you know, you can have it for a fraction of his total investment. God bless the people who make it so uh, you get to spend less. Holy cow! And it just keeps revving. What a blast. Uh, again, 08 bullet, 12,000 miles, one owner. That's the most I'm going to beat up your new car. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-298-8000 on the web at aenaples.com. Apologize for the sun. My God, that's obnoxious. Uh, but, uh, oh man, just sitting here idling. Oh, what a sweetheart. You may not get to buy this thing. God, I'd love to take it home. I really, really would. I mean, what a great variation on the Miata. I could do a spec Miata race and then take this thing to the PDX and have the time of my life. So, oh boy. Anyway, we'll see. If it makes it on the website, I guess it's for sale. 239-298-8000 uh, on the web at aenaples.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.